after the racing, I introduce to you Tom Draman Mahama.
from a certain format, that is text or documentation, into a digital format. And so it's just a one of transfer. But digitalization is a transformation of your processes. And so this app is a digitalization of our team processes in order that we're able to improve our administration and our population. And so let me commend all the young people who have worked on this. It's going to be a very useful tool for us. And let me commend the leadership of our youth wing for their continual efforts at strengthening that important wing of our party and the constant innovation that they continue to bring to the mobilization of young people of the country around the course of the National Democratic Congress. We have gathered here today to unveil yet another innovation which revolves around the use of technology to facilitate the party's work on the tertiary education front. I have every confidence that this will further enhance the things made within the youth wing of the party and it will continue to make the NDC the party of choice for the young people of Ghana. The Tertiary Educational Institutions Network has a long and illustrious history as a cradle and conveyor belt of talent and incredible potential for our great party through careful and painstaking nurturing. Some of Ghana's best and brightest talents within the political and governance space cut their teeth with pain. They've gone on to deliver impressive performances in just about every sphere of our national life. And you must notice that when the Tay uh, Jama was going on, uh, the Honorable Member for Medina removed his jacket and joined the Jama very vigorously. All of these were uh, members of our team, and I can mention many more of them. I know that yet more potential exists on the various campuses across the length and breadth of Ghana who would be unleashed sooner than later to complement the efforts of their senior comrades who operate within the NDC. And there's more space for utilization of our young, vibrant youth in the electoral process of the party. And this app is going to make it possible for us to do so, both with current members of JE and alumni. That's it is the desire of the NDC to maintain and improve on this tradition and track record for the general group of the party and the country as a whole. That desire is what has found expression in the launch of this application, which is designed to modernize and inject greater efficiency into how organization of young people is carried out within the NDC. We have gathered for this launch at a time of great economic and social distress for the people of Ghana. The Akufuado led government that came to power on the back of more modern promises to make life easier for Ghanaians and ensure rapid development of our country has so badly mismanaged the economy that we have been plunged into the most debilitating economic crisis in about four decades. Indeed, we all collect some of those more modern promises, including one by the current president, to transform this country, Ghana, within 18 months. This crisis into which he has led us has spawned hardship and suffering for our people on a scale never witnessed in the 30 year history of our fourth republic. Daily price increases, fuel price adjustments, a nose diving currency, which has rather arrested the person who said he would arrest the other restaurant. <laughs> the dollar has rather arrested him. And so we're looking for him. As the NDP, he had the peak, so that we could find where Vice President was, and he said he doesn't have it, and he doesn't know his whereabouts. General incompetence, corruption, and waste of scarce resources have combined to make life simply unbearable for the generality of Ghanaians. General incompetence, corruption, and waste of scarce resources have combined to make life simply unbearable for the generality of Ghanaians. No group is perhaps harder hit than the young people of this country. The issues that affect the youth of Ghana who dominate our population are many. And in these times of severe economic downturn, they have inevitably been worse off than perhaps any other demographic group in Ghana. 
This government has bundled the important task of securing the welfare and well-being of our young people through sound policies on education and ensuring the availability of employment opportunities both within the public and private sectors. The government has been so poor in its policy making and delivery in education that at all levels, from basic through secondary right up to tertiary, the students of Ghana are suffering immeasurably. Non release of funds, poor management of curricula, erratic school calendars, poor industrial relations with teachers, lecturers, and other stakeholders, among others, has created turbulence and conditions that are far from ideal and which threaten the achievement of quality outcomes in our educational system. Ghana is currently experiencing the highest level of unemployment recorded in the Fourth Republic at an estimated 14%. This government's response has been the adoption of short, sighted, populist, ad hoc, and poorly conceived programs that have done more harm than good. Even those that wrote on the new check NAPO program have found themselves at home after three years and have remained unpaid for several months. I hear that even National Service personnel for the first time are owed several months' allowances. Our government's institutions have been politicized and have virtually become wings of the new patriotic party. Indeed, the problems of our country are legion, and the failure of this government has been spectacular on all fronts. In the coming days, I'll make a fuller statement on this state of affairs on behalf of the NDC, which remains the most viable alternative to this failed regime. I urge all our countrymen and women not to lose hope. Our constitutional democracy still has many instruments we can use to check an errant administration. And at this juncture, I wish to commend our gallant members of parliament for the good fights that they're putting up in the office. We in the NPC can assure you that we will use all those instruments to pressure this government and hold it accountable to the people of Ghana. It is said that the darkest hour is just before the dawn. It is my firm belief that we should not despair, and Ghana will soon wake up from the nightmare that we are going through to a new dawn, where opportunities will be open to all Ghanaians and not a selected few friends and family. But today, we are here to launch the Tay app, which is revolutionary in scope and will ensure seamless communication between Tay chapters and their members. Indeed, when it was being launched, various uh, uses for which the app can be put were enumerated. For me, two stand out and are very important. Help in mobilizing volunteers for the party will be easier using this app, amongst others. And then also, most importantly, it will help us as a party to track conspiracy and branch polling stations of all team members all over the country and provide a database on the conspiracies and polling stations that these team members belong to in order for it to be possible for the party to fall on them for special duties in their respective constituencies and polling stations when they need arise. And it is my hope that when this app is operational in the 2024 elections, we shall identify all the polling stations where our team members are registered. And we're going to recruit you to sit at the polling stations and make sure that the right thing is done. And I'm sure that we'll be able to I'm sure that we'll be put if the elections are free and fair, I have absolutely no doubt that the NBC will remain the victorious. And so this app will go a long way to strengthen the activities of TAIN and by extension the NBC. 
I commend the leadership of the youth wing once again for this innovation, and it is my hope that this would not be the last we see in the efforts to maintain the most formidable political force on all our campuses in this country. Let me join the National Youth Organizer to thank the Frederick Ebert System FES for the continued collaboration we have with them. I just want to assure you that we appreciate everything that you are uh, doing for the NDC party. Today I managed to persuade and drag my friend and brother here, who is the chairman of Passion here, and Mr. Edward Anand. And um, I've consulted with him and he's going to be He's going to advertise Passion Air on the app so that we can raise some money. And we'll also provide, inshallah, discounted tickets for young people who want to travel. We'll provide you with uh, discounts if you have to travel uh, by Passion Air anywhere in the country. And so on this note, I hereby declare the team up duly launched. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. 